Come on, Maggie. Let's go. What's going on, guys? Welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different than what we normally do. So we just got our first YouTube paycheck after just getting monetized about two months ago. Today I'm going to be breaking that down, peeling the curtain back, kind of showing you guys what we made, how we made it, and telling the story of our channel and how we were able to get to where we are today. I want to share this stuff with you guys because I just want to be open and transparent with you. I've always had a dream of having a successful YouTube channel like a lot of people have. And I've always wondered about how much YouTube pays how much YouTube how much youtubers make in specific industries and I've always wondered what my favorite creators how much they make so I think we're sitting at 1334 subscribers right now as the time of recording this but first off before we jump into the analytical side I kind of want to explain our channel and how it came to be I've had a couple YouTube channels just kind of use it for like creative outlooks with like me and me and my buddies and I've always wanted to get into hunting. So Patrick, my brother-in-law, had always been a hunter. And one day I was talking to him and I was just like, I don't have anybody to show me how to hunt. I want to hunt. I've been wanting to hunt for a couple of years. don't have anybody to do it because my dad doesn't hunt. So he doesn't show me how to do anything like that. It's kind of a find a buddy who would show me or kind of learn it myself. And Patrick was willing to show me how to hunt. So um, he taught me how to hunt for a whole year. We hunted together every single hunt. I was just kind of learning from him. And then one day I was like, you want to film our hunts? He was all for it. He was on board. So that kind of that kind of started Tolook. That was kind of where we were like, okay, we're going to start a YouTube channel. And the name Tolook came from, my last name is crazy. It's Tolajewski. It's a Polish last name. But I abbreviate it to Tolo. And Patrick's last name is Cook. So that is where Tolook came from. We took my name and his last name and kind of meshed it together. And that's how Toll Look came to be. So we've started posting videos, just kind of using it for a creative outlook and not expecting it to really blow up, do anything or anything like that. We posted a video called uh, "This Walk by My This Just Walk by My Stand," which was a compilation of telling the story of Patrick's season and his first bow season, and. Um, he had a coyote walk by him and that video kind of did really well. And that kind of, that kind of inspired us and said, and told us like, Hey, this, this thing could actually be a thing. And, um, so we started to really work hard at pumping out videos every week, doing good with our search engine optimization or SEO, putting out polls, seeing what people wanted to see, kind of just really like taking it serious. And the channel started to elevate, but at the same time, our videos don't get thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of views. We do have videos that get like 200 views, which that's awesome. That's still 200 people. That's a lot of people that watch our video. But those videos are not videos that we ourselves for our goals like to see. So we will analyze those, see what we did, see what people didn't like in it, and then kind of use that to inspire and push us up to really like elevate and help grow and evolve the channel. That is kind of how we are here today. There's a whole lot more to running a YouTube channel that I've learned than just filming and posting the video. You have to film it, you have to edit it, you have to create your thumbnail. In my opinion, people put their videos here and their thumbnails here. But in reality, it kind of needs to be a little bit more shifted because you have to get them, you have to, you have to get somebody to watch or be interested in watching your video, plus you have to deliver in your video. With that, and then and then if you throw your merch and stuff like that into into the fire, you have to you have to figure out how to run your channel because there's a whole lot that goes into running your channel. Um, and to be honest, when we started the YouTube channel, we didn't really know what we were doing. We still kind of don't know what we're doing. To be honest, it's still new. We've only been doing it for a little over a year. Our first video went up in September of 2023. It is. Now, November 26th of 2024, and we got monetized in September, almost a year later. It was like a year and like three days after our first video went up, so we got monetized. That is just a testament to you guys. That's how the channel kind of started. 
we knew we we knew we wanted to post hunting content about chasing whitetails and kind of just all around outdoor things, archery. We haven't done any fishing stuff. We've been contemplating doing fishing stuff. So if you guys want us to do anything fishing related, let us know down in the comments. We didn't have fancy equipment, fancy cameras. Whenever we first started it, I bought a little $100 camera or I bought a little $200 camera. Patrick already had a camera. And to be honest, I do a lot of filming on my phone. So it doesn't take a lot to start a YouTube channel. If you are if you are somebody watching this looking at starting your channel and you just want to see what a small YouTuber makes or a, what what a small channel made on their first check after after a year and a half of just pumping out content pumping out content to get, even get here it doesn't take a lot of fancy equipment all you have to do is just press record that that's that's another thing with Tolo is we want to inspire people to chase their dreams whether that's chasing a whitetail or chasing a business endeavor. Just, we want to inspire people to chase their dreams. We started the channel in September of 2023. And after months of hard work, pushing out content, marketing it, all that goes into that, we got monetized. And for those of you who don't know, monetization, there's, there's a first step to monetization where you can, it's 500 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours, I think. And you have, and then you unlock like memberships and stuff like that. But where full monetization happens whenever you get a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, which the watch hours is extremely hard because you have to make good videos for people to want to stay and watch. So before we get into the analytics of the pay period and show you guys the breakdown of the actual paycheck, I'm going to show you guys the lifetime of the channel and just kind of show you guys how the channel's done over the lifetime of it. The whole life of the channel, we have accumulated 427,000 views, 13.6 thousand watch hours. We've got 1.3 thousand subscribers. These three numbers are a testament to you guys. So I just, before we get into it, I just wanna say thank you guys for the views, the watch hours, and subscribing. Because without y'all, this is not possible. So I have this set up to show September 10th of 2024 to November 25th because that's the pay period. From September 10th is when we got monetized and, and November 25th is when it, the payout happened. So for YouTube to pay you out, you have to hit a $100 threshold. So it took us over two months to hit our $100 threshold of ad views, which that's what this paycheck is gonna be. In that time span, we had 105,000 views. We had 2.1K watch hours, and we gained 338 subscribers. Breaking it down even more was between the videos and the shorts. So we have our videos, our long form videos, where we post for like the hunting content and stuff. We had 17,000 views, 186,000 impressions. So that's like YouTube pushing it to people to see. This is our click through rate, meaning how many people actually saw the video and clicked watch. And then this is the average view duration. So our average view duration is a little under four minutes. So then our shorts, we had 88,000 views in shorts. Our shorts feed was shown 100, our videos on shorts feed were shown 120,000 times. Likes, and then we gained, that shows your subscribers. So the big picture that you guys are wanting to see is, what was our check? So our estimated revenue that we earned was $135.89. This is what our estimated revenue for that pay period is. This was our first check. It was $135 and then we got taxed like $4. So it paid out like $131. And then you can see how much we earned in each individual month, but in that pay period. And ignore, ignore August and July because we had memberships going. So that's another, that's the first part of being monetized is having channel memberships. We had memberships going here. But I think we have them turned off right now. I'm pretty sure I have them turned off right now because I didn't want to seem like I was just all about the money because I'm not. I genuinely love just posting content as a creative outlet on YouTube. But, um, so you can see like what your breakdown is. So in September we made $44.21, October $66, and then November is ongoing. So far we made $24. But some of that 
November was in the pay period, the payout period. So YouTube's payout period is once a month they pay out every 28 days. So once you hit that hundred dollar threshold, if you're above hundred dollars, if you're above your hundred dollar threshold in ad rev or tips or anything like that, if you have any of that stuff turned on, they pay you out whatever your amount is. But if you haven't, if you haven't hit your hundred dollar threshold in November, let's say we're at fifty five dollars in November it'll roll over to December. So then you can have your other $45 to hit a hundred dollars in December and then you'll get paid out in December. So it is, it's freaking awesome in my opinion. A couple things that helped us grow would be to look at each individual video. So <clears throat> you can go into your analytics of each individual video and you can kind of see it go up and then it just stalemates and then you can come down and see if people are still watching only 56% of the people that clicked on the video watched after the first 30 seconds which makes me think guys which tells me I need to improve my intro so then you can kind of see you can kind of go through and see like dips and kind of compare and you can click in here and it'll shoot it over to this and you can kind of see where people are watching and skipping through and everything like that um, you can do that with spikes, why'd they go up? Dips, why'd it go down? You can do that with each individual video. You can see where it was reached out to. You can see the watch time for each video, average duration, who viewed it, and obviously how much it made. Um, you can do that for, and that is a tip, is you need to analyze each individual video that you post and figure out why it did or didn't perform well. This Sitka gear video for 2024 that I did where I showed my Sitka stuff. So this video, don't get, no, one thing that I learned is don't get discouraged whenever a video doesn't do well. Because later on when it becomes more relevant, it could boost itself up, which is what this one did. So this one started out not getting a lot of view and not getting a lot of viewership. It's gradually going up, yes gradually going up people are interested in it people are watching it and then when it got to July and people start so I posted this video in February people weren't really searching for this stuff in February so fast forward to July people are starting to want to get into the hunting stuff looking for clothes all that it started to shoot up this is our first ever video to do good so this video started out slow took off and then it's been over a year it's been on it's it's been a while since this video was published, so it's just kind of stalemated. Um, <clears throat> you can see the real-time views right here of it having zero views. Um, but 60% of people are still watching it. You can see the reach. It's almost at a million impressions. Um, again, that's just people looking at it. But I'm just covering this stuff to show you guys. Like This is stuff you have to look at to improve your channel if you want to improve to be able to grow and stuff. we've definitely we've learned so much stuff from you guys in the comments talking to us answering polls to watching what the analytics do to figuring out what works what doesn't work um we've definitely felt the discouragement not every video has popped off we don't really care about the views we just like posting the content for you guys to enjoy we love seeing the guys in the comments that talk to us and look forward to our videos, we love it. We, we do that. We do it for you guys. Um, so yeah, so we didn't really, we didn't really expect our videos to make money and begin with. It's just, it's, 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 it just sounds so weird to me to say I'm posting something on YouTube and it's paying, it's making money. That's just weird to me. It's very, um, it's very strange. So, um, very very strange looking ahead we're gonna continue to post content post videos for you guys we're gonna try to grow this into a bigger business what it is we're gonna continue to try to improve ourselves improve our hunting skills improve our filming editing I try to get 1% better with every single time I go in the woods every single time I press record on the camera every single thing that I do editing wise I try to learn something new and put up a new trick that's why you always see if you guys pay attention, you, there's like a new edit style every video because I'm trying to figure it out and get 1% better with every single video. We have a lot of exciting and ideas and goals for 
the channel. It's still in the middle of hunting season, so we're trying to get on some deer. We're having a lot of trouble this year with getting on deer with the way the weather's been. Patrick had a bunch of trees fall in his yard, and me and Tiffany, my, Tiffany's my wife, me and Tiffany bought our first home, so we've been moving in, getting all sorted. That's why I'm not showing you guys the side of the office that I'm in. That's why you're just painting up against this wall, because this is a wreck. This is my office space that will be turning into a podcast room. So stay tuned for the Toluk podcast because that's coming soon. We just want to keep growing, sharing our stories, improving for you guys. We feel amazing about where we're at and we're feeling amazing about the opportunities ahead of about stuff going on behind the scenes and uh, all stuff like that. So thank you guys for being a part of this journey. Thank you guys for getting us here. It's just $135, but... It is an amazing milestone. But yeah, stay tuned, guys. We're going to be doing some really cool stuff on the channel. If you guys are interested in a total podcast, drop a comment and let us know. If you guys found this video helpful, showing you guys kind of behind the scenes, the analytics of the hunting YouTube stuff, or if you just found it inspiring and got you going on something you want to do when you're starting your YouTube channel or anything, chasing your dreams, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So you guys will be updated whenever we get new videos. It helps out way more than you think it does. And it's free to subscribe. I'd love to hear your YouTube journey, your hunting journey, or just any questions you have for me down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. See ya.